Okay, now we're going to get started building this porch for this guy. And we're going to start off by creating, we need some 2x4s. So we'll create a box in that window. Let's go over here. Let's hit J, turn off selection, turn on F4. Let's go here. And we need to make this 4 inches. It's going to be 4 inches wide. It's going to be 8 feet. And then it's going to be 2 feet. Two inches tall. I'm going to say that's a four by a two by four is eight feet long. Okay, and let's convert this to an editable polygon. Let's grab these edges. Let's zoom in. And because I hate anything that's exactly 90 degrees in a 3D piece, uh, I chamfer those edges. It's not necessary for this, but I did it anyway. Okay, let's. Uh, zero this out. Okay, now we need, if it's going to be 20 feet or 20 feet wide, we need two 8 foot uh, 2x4s and then one 4 foot 2x4. So let's uh, shift and drag a second 2x4 here. There we go. Okay, let's zoom out. And now I want to just temporarily move this pivot point over here. I'm going to zoom in. And then I want to tighten up this gap right here. A small gap, but not as wide as it was. Okay, so now we need a four foot two by four. We need a four foot piece. Let's put out, pull out a plane. It's one and one. And let's make it four feet. There we go. Let's uh, zoom in on this. Let's pull it up so that we're right on this to the edge. There we go. Now what we can do is hit G, turn off the grid. Let's go here and shift drag another 2x4 out. Let's go up to the top view. Let's zoom in and close up that gap. Okay. Now let's zoom out and let's grab vertices right there. Let's move those in. And then let's zoom in. And let's get those lined up pretty well. Right like so. We can get rid of this now. Let's zoom out. Okay, so we've got this. Let's attach these. Okay, so now we have those attached. Now let's center our pivot point and then center everything. Okay, now we need to turn on our snap toggle. Let's go here and let's rotate a copy, holding shift and rotate. And then let's move this into position here. Let's go out here. Let's take this and move it so that they are touching right there. Okay, and then let's grab the top one again. Let's shift and drag a copy. Okay. Let's move these this one over so that again they are touching. And then we are going to attach all of those together. And again, I'm going to affect my pivot center to object. Okay, and now we're going to drag, we're going to shift and rotate another copy into place and we're going to drag that one down and we're going to zoom out and we're going to go into this side view and we are going to butt that up. Let's zoom in a little more, make sure you get that nice and tight. Like so. And then we're going to attach that copy. Okay, so what I was doing, what I'm doing here is now we have these are all four inches wide, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, so we have two feet. So what I want to do now is take this, affect the pivot point, and move it down to here, zoom up to the top view, and get that pivot point right on that edge of that bevel. And then we're going to go to tools and array. 
and if it's two feet and we need 16, we need eight copies, and we're going to move it on the Y minus two feet. And we're going to do a preview, and we're going to say OK because I know it's correct. There we go. So now we have a 20, a 16 by 20 floor. Let's go up to render, render setup. Let's set this up as an HD video, 1280 by 720, just do a quick render. Okay, there we have our floor nicely laid out. And we're ready to start building the understructure of this floor. So hit G there, hit G there. Okay, we're good to go. Let's grab the entire floor, make a group out of it, call it floor. And then let's center it to the world. And there we are. Okay, save your work, and we'll come back in the next one and start building the uh, base of this floor, the, uh, the uh, structure underneath the floor to hold it up. Okay? Hang in there.